Hi, this is Pat Love back with Mark. I told you we were going to have a lot of videos with Mark because he has a lot of golden nuggets to share. So I want you to listen to him share this amazing dream. This will blow your mind. Go on, Mark. Hi. All right. Uh, yeah, it's a dream I had. Um, it was in 2014. Um, this is right before all the spiritual warfare kicked off. Um, I had a dream I was, uh, there was Jesus on the cross and he was behind me. And I I was wearing this white, bright outfit that was just down to my, like almost down to my feet. But I had this armor, shiny armor on my chest and mm -hmm. I, had a, I had a sword. And it's like I was at, at like at attention, like I was at guard, but I don't know why I don't have to guard Jesus. Take your time um, but, and tell this one. I want them to hear mm -hmm. every word. Go on. So the, the sword is facing down between my legs, like, and my hands are on the hilt. And I was looking forward, and I knew, like I said, Jesus was behind me, but I could mentally see him in my head. Clear, you know, like as if he was in front of me. I knew he was there. And then all of a sudden, I, it was like a football field length away. There was a black cloud. It was like a wall of cloud. It was empty. It was just so just evil. You could, I could sense it. I could see it. And yep. it was moving forward. It was coming towards us. And it told me in my head to step aside. He told and you you had to step aside. Yep, it told me step aside. Huh. And my arm, my right arm, in, in, like with no hesitation, pointed at it as my fingers pointing at it. And the most powerful, booming, commanding, and thundering voice came out of my mouth that was not my own. And it said, We are one. And it was so, I could know human beings even do this voice. We and are one. Wow. We are one. And it woke me up out of my dream. It was so profound, so powerful that when I opened my eyes, the last part of one was coming out of my mouth yep. in the same exact tone, yep. same exact voice, same exact way. Mm -hmm. And it was saying, one, and the walls in my room were vibrating. And my wife woke up because she heard this coming out of me. And I didn't realize I was sitting up in my bed pointing at my wall. Wow. As this was coming out of me. Now, when you were in your dream, when you were pointing, what was in your hand? My sword was in my left hand, still facing towards the ground, and my right hand was my finger just pointing at it. Okay. I was pointing at it with my, my pointer finger, and there was nothing in my right hand other than me pointing at it, like commanding it. Like, right, oh, right. Oh, That's what I thought. Oh, mm. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. And when I woke up, or when I opened my eyes, I was in the same exact position, but right. sitting on my bed, sitting up in my bed, pointing at the wall. And I, right. it freaked me out. I didn't know what was going on. I was mm -hmm. like, what was that? Right. And I, it really, just the, the voice, I didn't know, I, I could sense it was good, but I didn't know how that came out. And I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know if it was that or what was what. And I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't know the word. I was ignorant to the word. And so all of a sudden, like, my wife heard me and we are like, okay, well, She's like, well, what happened? I don't know. And then all of a sudden, the spiritual warfare. The Lord was prepared me. That's for right. Serious battle coming up. That's and right. And when we saw the videos, and we saw, I started seeing the spirit realm that becomes the invisible become visible to me. Mm -hmm. I started seeing the silhouettes of the enemy, and mm -hmm. I seen the the giants they call the Nephilim, the Nephilim. I've seen the demons that they call alien grays or alien short grays. Those are aliens, those are demons. Right. And I've seen the people that come in the human form as well that are demons. And I've seen them all. We've seen them all. I've seen them invisible. We can smell them. We can hear them. We can sense them. My daughter, my daughter, my children, they can hear them and sense them and smell them. Clear like I can. Now you and said you said that you saw something that looked like white rags. 
What was that? Yeah. Describe so it. The, there's these ones that we also saw, they're white rags. They look like the whitest rags possible. And what's crazy is all these things, they're in, they all looked with the same white complexion, like a, like it was like a, it was a spirit realm. We could see it. Mm -hmm. But we could see these things and they were white rags. They had like a, a human body form. Like, uh, like, like a, you know, the head, the arms, the legs, and torso right. and whatnot. But they were rags, like, put together. And the reason we saw these ones, because uh, I could sense them, and I could see them, and I could hear them, and I wasn't sure if I would see what I would see, so I asked my wife, like, hey, look at this one. And she's looking through these binoculars in our, in our backyard, because they wouldn't come into our yard. They were seeing a tree vine. And she, she's looking, and she's like, what is that? I'm like, that's what I'm telling you. Look, I told you, there's things out there. They're, they're either wearing, like, really good camouflage, or I'm seeing something that's invisible, but I can see the silhouette, the body of it. Right. So it, it doesn't match the background. And so she's looking at it, and she's like, you're right. So I was going to go out there, and she's like, no, 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 because we saw, we saw the videos before this that we found, but um, she's like, they want you. You stay by the girls, I'll just stay in the fence line. I'm like, no, 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 I'll go. She's like, no. So I'm like, fine. I know God, you know, God won't anything bad to happen to us. You know, I, before I even knew what was going on, still held on to the Lord in my heart. She goes outside, stays in the fence line, and I'm recording this, and sure enough, I see what my daughter calls them as bees because they have the almond shaped head and the big eyes that look like, you know, typical alien. Uh, right, gotcha, gotcha. You know, I know whatever. what you mean. But um, she's walking out, and the things with the rags, she gets towards the end of the yard, and she goes outside of the yard, and she starts getting closer to it, to them, and it starts spinning its hands, like it's wielding this orangish, yellowish ball, and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and then um, she could sense something. She, the spirit told her, get back, get back, uh -huh. she's running back. Uh -huh. And she all of a sudden, she got back out, and they locked her out of the house on the side door that she went out. And she she knew she had to unlock, had to run over and let her in. I showed her the video, because the second she walked outside, they all put their cloaks back. And I could see their white um, foreheads and their eyes, but as soon as they took the cloaks back, you could see them, and they all stood up, and they all started walking through the tree line when she was walking outside to the back. Wow. So, um, she saw them do that and she just started crying. She had no idea. She was freaking out. She was like, how come I couldn't, I could? she couldn't believe what she was seeing. Right, I'm right. Like, I told you, I told you. And uh, so I posted it on Facebook and things got hairy then. And they tried to silence us that way. And we weren't having it. We still weren't having it. I took it off Facebook because I was in, in thinking like, okay, well, People are going to believe me, or are they thinking I'm not, or is this going on, or, you know, I didn't know which way to gauge this thing. Mm -hmm, so before mm -hmm. I started throwing stuff out there, I'm like, I really need to think about all this and what's really going on here. So, um... Well, let me ask you a question. Hang on, let me ask you a question. When you said they were spinning this ball, was it one mm -hmm. spinning a ball, or were they all kind of together spinning this ball together? No, there was there was two that were white wearing or two white rag looking things that were by each other. They were probably within four to five feet of each other, and the the nephilim giant things were ahead of them. And those things are massive. They're not like just oh, I'm doing a green giant like that. No, these things are like like walking bricks of like mass. How tall and would you the say they were? Um, these ones, I would have to say at least ten. Maybe about 10 feet, feet tall. So they look like the, yep. the uh, Hulk type thing. They're just massive yeah, muscle. Yep, yeah, massive. Just boom. Like they, you hit it right on him, like Hulk style, like just like bigger. Just, just gotcha, and, gotcha, gotcha. Um, they're not like giant lean green giants. No, these things are just Hulk. Oh. And um, so when my, there were two of them though, but those things were, those two were the ones spinning the, spinning the ball. Those were the ones wielding that sort, and that's how. When we've seen, uh, when people talk about astral projections and silver lining cords. Hmm? Yes, I've heard of astral projection. Yes. Oh yeah, we've seen that too, and uh, we have pictures of all of that and videos. But um, and people that we knew, 
people that we knew. We didn't. We saw the silver lining cords they talked about, or those um, the spherical cords, or whatever the things connected to the back of their head. And we could see them, and we could see the little vermin that are around in that demonic realm that wow. are, are attached to them and by them. And we could see the the person, and we could see what they're wearing, but we could see how their features are are changed in this demonic looking. So and you could see in the stuff. spirit realm very well. That's oh. very. That's a good gift that uh, when God gives you that because. You know, then you're not taken aback. You're not shocked. You know what you're dealing with. Um, oh, yeah. I remember when mm -hmm. my uh, my sister was going to commit suicide, and God saved her life through the dingbat that was only saved a, a couple of months, who was me. Mm -hmm. And I saw this demon show up in my living room, and the demon was like, if I drew a picture of it in my book, that still blows mm -hmm. my mind, and. Uh, this demon was leaning. I felt this evil in my house, and he leaned in. Now, this is a trip. You guys don't realize, but when you see into the spirit realm, it's as if you see, but you know it's not there, but you know it's there. You know it's mm -hmm. visible to you, but you know it's invisible. It is the hardest way to describe it, but I could see this thing, and, if, and uh, I saw the smile, I saw the eyes, and it was an evil, menacing smile. And I thought it was going to come and hurt me. It, it didn't have any hair. It was bald-headed. It had shoulders like a man, shaped just like a man. No clothes, mm -hmm. just all shape. And I knew that this thing was going to do harm. So when I finally got it out of my house, I covered my family in prayer. And I had no idea this happened at 5.30 in the morning. But see, what God does when he's teaching you warfare, he will command a demon to reveal himself to you. And I know that demon was forced to do that because he wasn't there for me. He was there. My sister told me that at 5.30 in the morning, she heard a voice, audible voice, tell her to end it. To commit suicide. Wow. And that was the exact time of the morning when that demon manifested because I had just looked at the clock and I said, Oh, it's 5 30 in the morning. I need to be going to bed. And next thing I knew, I felt this evil. It all happened at that same time in the morning. And she was crying her eyes out in her kitchen, saying, I can't take this anymore. It hurts. She was going through divorce. And it was really tearing her up because it was almost a 30-year marriage. And bam, this voice says, you don't have to. Just end it. So I'm telling you, I mean, God helped me pray that through where she went through some other experiences and realized God gave her a vision of her kids finding her dead. and She just couldn't do it. So that's what stopped her. And I told her, I said, you know, God saved your life last night. I know I didn't know what I was dealing with. It was all God. But I'm telling you, when Mark tells you he can see a demon, trust me. When you are a born-again Christian and God has given you the spirit of the gift of discerning of spirits, there will be times in your life you will see a demon. Some may see angels. I'm still waiting to see my first angel. But some will see angels. But I'm telling you, the demonic realm is real, and the demonic realm is not playing games with you. They mean business. And we're going to get into that on the next video. Thank you so much, Mark. Don't go anywhere. Thank you.